me, if I'm really honest, um, knowing what I know now about who I married, I wouldn't have married him. Oh. You know, it was just always instances where I just knew that this wasn't going to work out for me, right? So I had to figure out how to change without losing everything. Y'all, so it looks like Jeezy and Jeannie have been playing in our faces the entire time because word on the streets is that he is now calling off a divorce because he and Jeannie are trying to fix their marriage. But now it seems like they were never even trying to get a divorce in the first place and this has all been one publicity stunt for Jeezy's book. Y'all, if this is true, why on earth would Jeannie agree to be humiliated like this? A lot of the things I did because I was trying to get validation. I want people to know I'm about my issue. Y'all, every time we hear something new about Jeannie, Mai and Jeezy's divorce, the story gets weirder and weirder. And at this point, the whole thing is starting to look like one big joke. There are rumors now going around that Jeezy will be calling off the divorce any time from now because he wants to work things out with Jeannie. In fact, some sources are claiming that he never really intended to fall for divorce in the first place. And it was just a ploy to get publicity for his new book. Y'all, these PR stunts are getting out of hand. Listen, when I tell you this had me shook because what on earth is even going on? In the year 2023, we still pulling stunts like this? But then again, if you're thinking about it critically, it actually kinda makes sense that he and Jeannie were trolling us to get publicity for his book. I mean, the fact that he made the divorce public so soon after Jeannie made the post about his book should have been our first clue. I'm talking about the post where she posted a cute picture of her and her daughter and said, Today I celebrate a remarkable milestone achieved by my husband Jeezy, whose memoir Adversity for Cell has soared to the New York Times bestsellers list. This moment isn't just a testimony to your literary skills, baby, but a recognition of your ability to inspire through the power of storytelling. I'm endlessly grateful for your voice in this world. Honored to walk beside you, my love. The timing of the divorce announcement was just too convenient, especially since he had already filed for divorce way back in June. So if he had waited all those months to make the divorce final and official, it only makes sense that he would wait until the book thing is finalized, right? Now, since we found out about the divorce, fans have been put in two and two together trying to figure out why he was dumping her out the blue like that. But no matter how hard we tried to understand the situation, the math just wasn't mad then. There were so many theories flying around like how people were saying that Jenny probably cheated on him with her co-host Mario Lopez. People also brought up the fact that they both have really flirty energy and they can barely keep their hands off each other on camera. My girl, Jeannie Mai. First day at the job, guys. Hey, <laughs> proud uh, Vietnamese girl. We're both yes. first generation. I'm gonna have her hook me up with some uh, Vietnamese. I know a little bit. However, sources from Jeannie's camp denied the rumors and said that she had never cheated on Jeezy. They also claimed that whatever relationship she and Mario had was purely platonic and that people were reading way too much into an innocent relationship. But the drama took an even crazier turn when Jeannie's former co-host Tamar Braxton made a statement on her new show about how Jeannie probably did something super foul to Jeezy for him to file for divorce like that. When y'all file for divorce, it's over. Yeah, because usually guys yeah. don't yeah, strike first. Yeah, y'all not emotional like that. Nah, so whatever oh, it was. So what could it have been? Right. There's you know two I mean? reasons why a man leaves his wife or file for divorce. Number one is another woman pushing him to do it, okay? Or number two is something real foul went down. You think that that was in love, I feel so bad for her. Yeah. Yeah. It was at this point that a source finally spilled the tea to E.T. and claimed Jeezy and Jenny Mai's pending divorce stems from different views. They weren't on the same page when it came to certain family values and expectations. They had different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met. Now this might have seemed like perfectly good sense, except the math wasn't mathing. I mean, sure, Jeannie and Jeezy were from two different ethnicities, but they had always claimed that it worked perfectly for them. There were concerns about how Jeannie's mom and her brother started living with them not long after they got married and how this could have caused some friction between them that eventually led to the divorce. Especially since Jeannie herself admitted on the Shambooty podcast that she and her mom have really hot tempers. For example, I have a really hot temper. Not a lot of people know this, but it's just something in my family. I've seen it in my grandmother. I'm sorry, I saw it in my grandfather to my grandmother. 
to my mom, to my aunts, to me, mm -hmm. right? Now, dealing with one hot temper is a lot, but two hot tempers can be downright challenging. So after the source spoke to E.T., people started speculating that Jeannie's relationship with her family is what led to the breakdown of the marriage. And then people also pointed out how Jeezy doesn't exactly have a close relationship with his immediate family because they're not on great terms. So he probably doesn't know how to deal with Jeannie's family values. But then again, two and two was not equal in four because it was just last month when Jeezy went on Sway's podcast where he praised Jeannie's family values and talked about how much he loved the dynamic that she had with her family. I love my family, man. Yeah. I, love, I love our dynamic. I love the way we rock. I love how we people don't understand it because it ain't for them to understand. Mm -hmm. You know just as well as I know. Like, my wife from the Bay, so I don't know why people get it misconstrued. She's just like us on the low. Bro. <laughs> but not only did he say all that, but he also went on and on about how her values inspired him to try to fix the bad relationship he had with his dad. He even revealed that he was trying to rebuild a relationship with his cousins and other members of his extended family, all because of Jeannie's family values. You know, from what we know, that's, that's the only structure of a family I've seen. You know, people sitting down wow. having dinner and, you know, conversing, and, you know, cleaning up the kitchen together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen that. Mm. Right. And, and culturally, um, her family, they're, they're really tight. You know what I'm saying? And they really do a lot of things together, which makes um, it easier for me to do things with my family. Yeah. Like, I've seen my father more in the last, you know, five years. And I've probably seen my whole life. Mm. You know what wow. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, the excuses they gave for the divorce were just not making sense. And it was clear that something fishy was going on. Now, isn't it interesting how all of the sources were conveniently hinting that Jeannie was the reason for the divorce? Yeah, they definitely didn't want to stain Jeezy's public image when he had a book writing on the attention. Then things took a twist when insiders reported that Jeannie didn't want a divorce. A source spoke to Page Six and claimed that she was going to be contested in divorce saying Jeannie Mai is devastated that her marriage is over and wants her family unit back. The truth is Jeannie wants her marriage to work and wants her family to be one solid unit. She is devastated that Jeezy filed for divorce. Jeannie deeply loves Jeezy and she wants things to work out. She did not get married to get divorced. That was not a part of the plan. Now that kind of adds up because after her first divorce Jeannie claimed that she never wanted to get married again because she didn't want to go through another divorce again ever. The source also said said, this is not how she ever imagined things would go down. Even though Jeezy has filed, Jeannie is holding out hope that he would be willing to sit down and work things out. She is hoping for a resolution and wants to remain as a united family unit. Yeah, there's just too many contradictions in this whole divorce. And all the reports that we've gotten on their divorce only add to the confusion instead of clearing things up. The entire situation just didn't make no kind of sense. And it looks like we finally know why, because word on the streets is that this entire drama was some clever marketing and promotion for his new book. Now love it or hate it, we have to admit the work and effort that they put into trying to make this thing look real because listen, they had a lot of us fooled. And it looks like Jeezy is giving us some subtle confirmation of this because he recently sat down with Revolt TV and fans were quick to notice that he was wearing his wedding ring. Not only was he wearing the ring, but he was actually flaunting it in our faces. I mean, take a look at these pictures that he posted from the interview. Notice how this man has has his ring front and center of every picture. And before y'all start going into how the interview could have been taped before this whole drama went down, it wasn't. The interview was done a couple of days ago, which means that it was taped after the whole divorce thing, and Jeezy was sending a clear message that he and Jeannie were still together. Now this drama has fans all over the place, and they've left comments saying, I honestly think he did this for publicity. Even though it's negative, he still got a lot of buzz and people to read into his book and from the interviews because because it didn't make any sense he was just praising her and then all of a sudden he divorced her? I knew that ish wasn't real. If he did all that, I would not trust him. He should have come out to defend his wife publicly with the way that they had been dragging her. That's part of providing and protecting. Won't be surprised if this whole circus was a way to promote his book and they get back together. And, huh? So, going public with the divorce and letting people speculate that she did something, why he called the divorce wasn't bad enough? Now he's still rocking his wedding ring and the nerve on this one yeah this thing was a crazy roller coaster but i need to know what y'all think about the situation do you think that jeezy and genie have been playing in our faces this whole time or do you think that there's something going on here drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video